Peter Ustinov, a multifaceted talent in the realm of acting, first caught the attention of audiences with his distinctive presence and remarkable versatility. For many, the introduction to this iconic figure happened at different moments in time, prompting the question, when was the first time you recognized Peter Ustinov? As a prolific actor, director, and writer, Ustinov left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, showcasing his prowess across various genres. Amidst his legendary body of work, pinpointing a single defining moment in Ustinov's career proves a challenging task. Each project seemed to contribute to the mosaic of his success, making the question of which work defined his career a matter of personal interpretation. His repertoire spans from acclaimed performances in classics like Spartacus to his memorable portrayal of Hercule Poirot in Death on the Nile. As admirers reflect on the legacy of Peter Ustinov, the question arises, what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood figure? We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below as we celebrate the enduring impact of a talent that transcends time. In January 1963, the Mirish Company sued Peter Ustinov for damages when he withdrew from The Pink Panther, a film in production in Rome. His replacement, Peter Sellers, stepped in to take on the role. This incident marked a turning point in Ustinov's career, triggering legal ramifications and shifting the dynamics of a major cinematic project. During World War II, Ustinov served as a Batman to Lieutenant Colonel David Niven. This military connection adds a layer to Ustinov's life, showcasing his involvement in significant historical events beyond the realm of entertainment. In 1949, Ustinov directed Private Angelo, a film in which he worked with his then mother-in-law, Moina Makgill. This family collaboration offers a glimpse into Ustinov's multifaceted talents, not just as an actor, but also as a director working with close relatives. These instances provide unique insights into Peter Ustinov's career, ranging from legal disputes in the film industry to his wartime experiences and family collaborations. Each episode sheds light on different facets of his life, contributing to the overall narrative of a versatile and resilient individual in the world of entertainment. Awarded the CBE in 1975 for his contributions to drama, Peter Ustinov later received knighthood in 1990. His achievements extended beyond acting, showcasing a remarkable journey from his roots in Soviet Russia. Ustinov's father, a German subject, met his future wife in Soviet Russia, leading them to settle in Britain. Ustinov, reflecting on his unique background, once stated, it is for that very reason that I am addressing you today in English. Amidst his diverse career, Ustinov's involvement in the Pink Panther took an unexpected turn. Initially cast as Inspector Klauso, he withdrew at the last minute. The role then passed to Peter Sellers, whose casting hinged on a shared appreciation for Laurel and Hardy. This twist of fate not only altered cinematic history, but marked a pivotal moment in Ustinov's career. From honors to heritage and unexpected film shifts, Peter Ustinov's life unfolds as a tapestry of varied experiences, shaping him into a figure of significance in the world of entertainment. Peter Ustinov's family history is steeped in intriguing connections, adding layers to his already diverse life. His father, Klopp Ustinov, played a covert role during the Second World War, actively engaged in Mi-5 as an agent runner. Klopp's unique background includes commissions in the Russian, German, and British armies at different points in time, as detailed by Peter Wright in Spycatcher. Beyond his familial ties, Ustinov's first marriage to Isol Denham, the half-sister of Angela Lansbury, unfolded from 1940 to 1950. The union produced one child, Tamara Ustinov, before ending in divorce. The personal aspects of Ustinov's life, encapsulated in family relationships and marital experiences, add a human touch to his multifaceted persona. In addition to his contributions to the entertainment industry, Ustinov was recognized as a humanist laureate and a member of the International Academy of Humanism. These affiliations underscore his broader impact beyond the realms of acting and filmmaking, aligning with a broader commitment to humanistic values. Peter Ustinov's life story, marked by familial ties, wartime intrigue, and a commitment to humanism, weaves a captivating narrative. From covert missions to family dynamics and philosophical affiliations, his journey unfolds as a testament to the complexity of the human experience. Peter Ustinov's global impact extended beyond the silver screen. As the goodwill ambassador for UNICEF from 1968 until his passing in 2004, he dedicated himself to humanitarian causes. Ustinov used his influence to raise awareness and support for children's rights worldwide. 
His commitment to this role showcased a compassionate side that went beyond his acclaimed career in entertainment. In a tragic twist of fate, on October 31, 1984, Ustinov found himself unwittingly connected to a historic event. While waiting in the garden of the Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, for an interview, she was assassinated by her Sikh bodyguards. The shocking incident unfolded in close proximity to Ustinov and his film crew, marking a chilling moment in his life that transcended the boundaries of his usual pursuits. In the later stages of his life, Ustinov's funeral service took place at Geneva's historic Cathedral of St. Pierre. His final resting place became the village of Bursons, where he had resided in a shadow since 1971. This choice reflected a connection to a place he had called home for over three decades. Peter Ustinov's legacy is not only defined by his contributions to the entertainment industry, but also by his impactful role as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and the unexpected intersection of his life with global events. His commitment to humanitarian causes and the unusual circumstances surrounding his encounters with history add layers to the narrative of a man whose influence transcends the cinematic stage. Awarded an Honorary Doctor of Laws degree by Dundee University and an Honorary Doctor of Music degree by the Cleveland Institute of Music in Cleveland, Ohio, Peter Ustinov's academic accolades reflect a distinguished facet of his career. Beyond the cinematic stage, his intellectual contributions were acknowledged by prestigious institutions. The actor's multifaceted persona extends beyond entertainment, delving into the realm of academia. These honorary degrees underscore Ustinov's impact, not only as a performer, but also as a figure recognized for his intellectual achievements. From the silver screen to the hallowed halls of academia, Ustinov's legacy stands as a testament to a man whose influence transcends traditional boundaries leaving an indelible mark on diverse facets of his life. As we bid adieu to this captivating exploration of a remarkable individual, we encourage you, dear reader, to embark on a journey of personal reflection. Allow the curtain to descend not only on the tales of a seasoned actor, but also on the memories woven into the fabric of your own cinematic experiences. There is an intangible connection that binds us to the world of storytelling, and in Peter Ustinov's performances, we find a mirror reflecting our own narratives. Take a moment to traverse the corridors of your mind, revisiting the scenes and characters that resonated with you. Perhaps it was a poignant monologue, a witty exchange, or a profound expression that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. In the tapestry of entertainment, Ustinov's contributions are threads woven with finesse and artistry. As you reflect on these moments, we invite you to share your cherished recollections. Let the echoes of your thoughts reverberate in the collective consciousness, creating a mosaic of shared admiration for a talent that transcends time. Your insights are not merely anecdotes. They are fragments of a collective ode to an artist who shaped the tapestry of entertainment. Your voice, like a well-crafted scene, adds depth and resonance to the ongoing narrative of appreciation for Peter Ustinov's legacy. As we draw the curtain on this chapter, we extend our gratitude for your time and engagement. Your reflections amplify the enduring impact of a thespian who etched his presence into the annals of cinematic history. Thank you for sharing in the celebration of a life dedicated to the craft.